Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Burkru Studios Plays EU4. I'm your host, Nems. I'm here today with Bob from Maniacal Studios in our multiplayer. Say hello, Bob. Hello. So um, I am Lucka, Nems, and uh, Bob is Mantua, and we've had a pretty good start, honestly. I um, believe the vernacular is Mantua. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not okay. going to do it. All right. Mantua. I'm just saying. You know how many of my relatives are rolling out. over in their graves as you say these names? <laughs> oh my God. So um, we have captured, uh, we've basically wiped a couple places off the map already. So um, uh, Bob just ate Ferrara. Just just one war, they're gone. Um, <laughs> Who's that? Who are you yeah. talking about? I, uh, I have split <laughs> Florence in half, and then we have started to mutually nibble on uh, Milan. You know, we've been fighting some expansion, some aggressive expansion issues, but um, we think we've come up with a, a bit of an opportunistic uh, uh, situation that I will let Bob expand upon because, frankly, it's his opportunistic situation. Well, the the idea is to go after Venice because they've only got, you know, Corfu, who I think is a, a vassal of theirs. I think. Yep. Yeah, and vassal Corfu. Corfu and that's like is all the way down in, near the Aegean yeah. or modern look, day. Look Greece. at the boot of where Salento is on Nap Napoli, and it's that little island right, right where the boot's pointing. Yeah, and they're it's, not scary they're at all. Yeah. So they've only got four thousand troops standing. I'm looking right at them <laughs> across the border. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure if any territory will be gained from this, but what can be gained is a whole bunch of sweet, sweet ducats. I'm I'm confident of that, and we so, probably we might be able to get some trade power, right? Or well, I I will probably be able to get some trade power out of it anyway. Speaking of trade power, where are your boats? My boats are in Venice. Okay, because they can literally get nowhere else without suffering attrition. <laughs> well, I I only ask that because uh, Venice's navy will probably beat the crap out of us if they catch us out. So I just sent my uh, my navy home. Let me double check their navy. Uh, yeah, they have forty one ships. Nah, it'll be great. I got this one boat. Ships. It's full of spunk. Yeah. Yeah. So here I go, uh, running back to Lucka so that they don't uh, slap me around. So I am in Ferrara now, waiting for uh, war to be declared. Okay. War well, were declared. I'm going to do that now then. Mm -hmm. All right. I accept. I accept your terrible idea. <laughs> So uh, if they bring their ships back, which they probably will, we won't be able to siege Venice. Agreed. I didn't say you could leave. You get back here. There we go. Uh, yay, river crossing. There we go. That wasn't a bad roll. Oh, Milan has actually just went to war with them, too. Oh, that really? You just stick little shit. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> proud of you, and I hate your guts. He's like, I'm going to march straight to Venice. You guys can suck I'm it. I'm going to move to Treso then and uh, start sieging it. Just so we can have that war score on our side. Who has... Oh, they have the uh, the siege here in... In Verona? In Verona. How did that even happen? Uh, I don't know. Probably because I moved out of it and they moved in. Uh, all right, well, I'll go hit Brescia then. So we at least cut them off there. <laughs> and then he won't be able to take territory. Indeed. Which sucks, you know, because Verona is actually the one I have the claim on. I know. We're going to have to kind of wait for him to peace out. Uh, lose prestige, gain some military points. It's Hello. cool. I don't I don't mind going Tony Soprano on uh, on Venice. Well, what, what would be nice... Oh, man, I made a cultural pun. Oh, I feel so proud of myself. I didn't even mean to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sopranos. I was reading something about that the other day. I... Uh, I'm ashamed to admit I never really watched the show. Neither did uh, I. <laughs> but uh, apparently, spoilers ahead. Uh, I'm just kidding. There will be no spoilers. the uh, The way the show ended was like massively, uh, you know, like uh, picked apart on all these different blogs and and websites. And now I'm like, hey, I can never watch the show because now I know how it ends. But, uh -huh. um, but boy, it's oh, hello, boom. Hello, Austria. What Austria My do? new ally. Hooray! All right. I'm going to bump this back up to three. I have an election because my guy died fighting your war. 
So I can take a bureaucrat. Oh man! I have gained the points? government form war against uh, Milan. Do what now? I have a claim against Milan to change their government form. What is oh, their government form? The Ambrosian Republic. Republic. Does that mean I kick the crap out of you because I don't like the way you run your government? Apparently. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait a minute. God didn't will your kingdom ship thingy. All right, Mantua. Sorry, Mantua. So just just Is that how for you your pronounce it, Mantua. Mantua. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Italian. I come from you know a place much further north. Oh goodness. So just FYI, there is sixty percent progress on for rebels in the province you're standing in. Oh, okay. Just well, just FYI. Good to know. Venice has an eleven stack in uh, Venice, also. Yeah, I see it. I'm. I'm wondering if Milan would come to my aid hmm. if they attacked me, because it would not be in Milan's interest to don't, let let me get steamrolled. I don't know. What sucks is we have that truth with Milan for another like eight years, so we can't just go to war with Milan and wipe them out and take just that. just kick them out of the country. We're fighting. Yeah, like no, we're <laughs> this is our country. Get the hell out. <laughs> They took our jobs. <laughs> they took our province. They took our province. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm not losing money, though. That's that actually good. really sucks. You know why? It's because now we don't have a ticking war score against them. Uh huh. That's why we're at negative seven, even though we've already pretty much won the war. Yeah. Hey, Austria, since you're my bro, how about you give me access so I can go face punch that one stack? Oh, I still can't face punch that one. Ah. Oh. Can I get access, I wonder? I can ask for military access. They say yes. Can you move now? Uh, survey says no. Still blocked by the fort, apparently. Which I think seems weird. Fort mechanics are still a little eh. Still a little weird. How are you doing, Genoa? Oh, now you're also... Oh, my God. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Guess who Genoa picked up as an ally? Austria. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They, they had that one. Keep oh, looking. Who? Switzerland, Castile, Florence. Yeah, Castile. They picked up Castile. Castile really hasn't been that scary in a lot of my games recently. Yeah, but they just kicked the crap out of... Uh, uh, they took Aragon, so they're doing okay. I think in my game right now for Cologne, they have all of the Iberian Peninsula except Portugal. They have all of Naples. They have all of Sicily. They have most of North Africa. And then, of course, all the colonizing things. So they're pretty frightening. And they've actually reached up into France in my game. They're, like, all the way up to Poitou, which is a terrifying Castile. When you start eating France, like, the, if Castile eats all of France, <laughs> game over, man. Is that the litmus test to see that how scary you actually are? over. <laughs> when you eat half of France, you're scary, yes. It's a pretty good litmus test, I think. Okay, here, oh, Milan's moving away. All right, I'll go stand in Verona. Okay, here's what I want to do next. I'm going to move into Friuli, and if that 12 stack moves out, I want to I want to pincer him. All right, I'm following into Treviso. Oh wait, no, you want me to stay back? No, no, here? Stay, stay in Ver Verona. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to lure doing. that. I want to see that. I want to lure that 12 I'm out and just lure like them out. pummel him. I think they just got on the ships. Oh no, they're still there. Oh no, so they're, they're going to do this dance. This is great. There he goes. Wait until they lock. Yep, let's go. Let's get him. I didn't say you could leave your hole. <laughs> uh, how we doing? That actually, that's actually look, look, looking a little sketchy. Oh, there we go. Roll the nine. There we go. Uh-oh. Keep it up. Keep this, it up. Keep this, it up. This minus two is not fun. It's not. Uh, okay, we won. Oh, Wait, they moved in with more. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Or we um, could just stack wipe them. That's cool, did too. Did they stack wipe? Really? They did, because they didn't have anywhere to retreat to. <laughs> <Yes>. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'll go pop over to Istria here and take that. <laughs> well, at least now we got 21%. And um, we're both fully blockaded by Venice's uh, navy. That's fun. No, it's cool. It's great. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm looking to see what they have there. Because most of their navy is over there, right? So they have... Uh, well, if they have 41 ships total, then they're sitting... most of the, More than half is sitting in the Gulf of Venice. I'm tempted to just pop out and see if I can take this fleet. 
doing it. You only pulled four ships out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and because the other five are mothballed. Mothballed. Yeah, I saw that as soon as I did. I was like, why didn't they? Oh man. Well, okay, I didn't so lose. They anything, just sent me thankfully. a peace offer. Uh, so this is standard: ten percent of the income, uh, eighty ducats. Uh, no. Well, uh, say, that seems like a pretty crap offer considering that we doesn't... Have them nearly fully occupied. So let me see what I can pull away from that. War reps, how much cash can I pull? I can pull 91 on my own. I can't take Verona because freaking Milan. You could take Brescia. Brescia? Yeah. I cannot. That actually is too much. What if I give up all this cash? I'm still not interested. I am 20. Well, you're not going to be able to get Verona then. That's 21. Brescia it might just be length of the war, but we can't get the ticking war score because of freaking Milan. Well, I <gasps> still have this fort over here in Istria, though. Istria is a fort. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's so let's let's get the fort. At least the war score isn't going to move anywhere. That's the important part. <laughs> yeah, and forts are luckily worth a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, war score. I'm hitting my microphone stand. You ruined everything. I do that. It's kind of my specialty. Oh, man, I can build a building. I am the ruiner. Ask my wife. Do I want to spend 100 ducats for 6.4 trade power? I don't know. I just I spent a hundred ducats for eighteen more uh, trade power, or no, not yeah. But that's much more eight, palatable. Eight, or, <laughs> that's eight or nine. Eight or nine trade power is a lot. I mean, when you think about it. Um, oh, crap. Do I want to lose prestige or admin power? I'll lose the admin power. Um, but no. I mean, when you think about uh, the way trade power works, like my province of Parma by itself, which is. Uh, it's got six Diplo development, has 3.5. That's all it has. Uh, are you talking about building something like in Ferrara? Yeah, that's where I would get the most trade power out of it. Yeah. Yeah, of your land, that's probably where I would build it because the rest of them are much smaller. I mean, your second best is your capital of 5.2. Okay, I should have ideas available in August of 1460. Hooray! I'm totally jelly. And I'm thinking about influence ideas, maybe, for I all am, this AE. <laughs> I am not even to tech four on uh, admin yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, you should be. I, mm, I don't know how to feel about that. Well, it doesn't help that... I mean, these freaking provinces have been expensive decor, plus my Republic crap. I've been... Um, I'm not on an admin guy right now. I probably should be, but... Oh well. What are you gonna do? Complain about it. <laughs> so yeah, my, my 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 leader is six four three, and I have a focus on military. So I'm I'm actually generating eight admin, six diplo, and eight military every month. Or actually, you believe more than that. I actually have a siege leader right now, and I'm just now at negative forty nine over here. Uh, I can't believe it because I can see it. It's horrible. These are things I believe. I believe I can fly. That that would be a mistake. Mm. Uh, do I want to give Milan <coughs> access? Venice and Corfu. I think I want to tell Milan to suck it. And I did. No, Milan. You may not have access. Oh, you know what? Can I make... Uh, where... Wow, Parma is back up to 10 unrest, thanks to my war exhaustion and unlawful territory. When does that go away? Oh, four more years. I hate unlawful territory. <laughs> I could I could just make Venice just give up Corfu as a vassal. <laughs> oh, no, not Corfu. <laughs> oh, no. Strategic... Ottoman purposes, the Corfu. Yeah, that way, you know, that way they don't have to go to war with the Ottomans as much. Oh, they do have Albania though. Look at that. Oh, that's not going to turn out well for you. Venice taking Albania is essentially suicide. Well, no wonder they're fighting the Mam or the <clears throat> or well, no, they were fighting the Mamluks before. And then, yeah. If then the Ottomans war deck for Albania, they're they're toast. I mean, they're toast in general, but boy, that'll be they'll actually take a lot from them. I'm so glad I'm allied with Austria now as well. If for no other reason that they can stop demanding unlawful territory from me, because that irritates the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and they're allied to France, aren't they? 
Well, hmm, who else can I ally? I France. One, <laughs> no, they won't because of, I already have a powerful ally in Austria. So I can't ally them. How's Bavaria doing? You want Bavaria? Really? Uh, they're not bad early game. What in the world, Bohemia? Look at Bohemia's alliances. Ottomans? Yeah. What? Ottomans? How they're actually what? they're also voting for Brandenburg as Emperor FYI too. I don't know if you saw that in the elector screen. <laughs> Just, Bohemia is taking crazy pills. How did Bohemia even ally the Ottomans? It's 1459, for God's sake. Uh, oh, hey, look. They're sieging my capital. Or well, they're trying to. Why don't you go punch those guys in the face? I'll bet you it's probably because Bohemia uh, disliked Hungary, and Hungary disliked the Ottomans, and uh, then us natural allies happen. Because Hungary's at the top of the list as far as dislike goes uh, for Bohemia. Hmm. Did you, see if, did you see if Venice landed a couple guys? Where? Lucca. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. I will go take care of this business. Yeah, that's not helping my war exhaustion, unfortunately. <laughs> Stand back! Mantua will take care of this. Mantua. Mantua. <laughs> my name is Mantua. And I am almost done with the siege, thankfully. Hooray, war score. 35%. Throat punch Venetian army. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should this up to speed uh, three, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, I'd say we're safe at this point. I mean, they have, I don't know, any troops? Probably not. I don't believe they do. Well, they have 2,000 sitting on Venice, but we can't get to it. So, yeah, At this pace, we may actually be able to attack Milan before the war ends. <laughs> It's, it's actually, you know, it's I'm been on, my, on my mind. <laughs> I'm on my third month of 35%. Uh, I hate not having cannons. Go ahead and bump this to four. Or boats. And another 35%. Oh, dang. It pushed it right back down. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. I tried. I tried four. It didn't work. Yeah, that's all good. Three, three's not bad, honestly, for multiplayer speed, I don't think. Mm hmm. The problem with four is like you risk running right over some things. Yeah, true. So Genoa's fully at peace. Milan still has no allies. Florence is at peace again. Ooh, and they are allied with Provence and Genoa. Siege of Istria is over. Let me transfer this over to you and get out of this area. Going back to Parma so I can try okay, to stop these Okay, let's see what we can do here. Hey, look, Salzburg was war decked by Austria. You're the worst emperor ever, Austria. They always attack <laughs> these one province miners and start whittling away at their prince count so that they can never have imperial authority. Silly man. Maybe you've waited long enough that you can take rescue without the uh, ridiculous uh, aggressive expansion now. No, that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> So we got oh, Milan, Florence, it? Genoa, Siena, Ansbach, Augsburg, Bavaria, Memmingen, wow. uh, Nuremberg, Salzburg, Ravensburg, Switzerland, Paltinit, wow. Württemberg, Ulm. <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 countries. Wow. All of which have nothing to do with us right now. That's just if I take Brescia. That's pretty bad. That's Istria? A, that's the end of the war. <gasps> I could take Istria without any problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eight. It's got eight. Uh, eight development. How about Friuli? Yeah, Friuli, uh, Friuli is gonna be Milan, Florence, Genoa, and Siena. Hmm. Problem is, if Genoa calls that war, we're toast. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna leave them alone then, and I'm going to just take them for cash. Yeah. Uh, transfer trade power? No, you're not interested. Okay. Revoke cores? No. Return cores. I can make them. Can I give? No, I can't do that. I can't do that either. Damn it! I was. I could have made him give stuff up to freaking uh, the Ottomans. Oh my god! Yeah, let's not. Can do I make that. you cancel subject Corfu? Oh, that's what eats. That's eating a part of my war score. Uh, I can make him release Corfu though. Sure. He's got Albania down there, so he's still gonna fight the Ottomans anyway. 
yeah. it just will reduce his uh, some of his coastal, so he won't have uh, as much uh, what you call it force limit for a navy. All right, Milan, go play. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, look, an alliance offer from France. Oh, nice. So I got France, Savoy, and Austria on my side now. Wow. How did that Can Mantua happen? not do no wrong? <laughs> Apparently not. Improve relations with Luca. <laughs> How bad are our relations with you? Oh, we're at plus 41. It's all good. I'm going to improve relations with you, though. Oh, no, whoops, that's send insult. That's not the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not improving relations at all. That was a crap. That event just goes, do you want to lose one stability or 18 ducats? Hmm. That's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard sell there. I don't know. Yeah, this aggressive expansion is just... Uh, it's pretty brutal right now. Oh, man. Now we get ideas. Ideas for Bob. Uh, I just got tech four. <laughs> Influence just, ideas. Give me just that. just got tech four. The funny part is I've kind of gotten used to this diplomatically because I've been playing a, um, a Bishopric so long with Cologne. So the whole no royal marriage thing and everything kind of sucking. Early Actually, game. you know what? This is a mistake. I should have taken diplomatic ideas, not influence. Oh, oh well. You took influence idea? Well, you, if you didn't invest in it, you can just change it, can't you? Well, it, you don't get all your points back, but it's okay. Uh, going after the... Uh, the aggressive expansion impact is still okay. Well, no, but I mean, if you did, you invest in the first idea. I did. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you just picked it. I should say if you just picked it, you're fine. Well, I did. Then I immediately had to play with my new toys. So, so you did. Know. You did influence. Yeah. So you have a bunch of extra income from that vassal you don't have. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, but oh man, I'm looking forward to that aggressive expansion impact decrease. Uh, Let me tell you, I have thought about the possibility of doing that, um, picking one of these and taking them as a, uh, a, a vassal. But I, unfortunately, Italy is so thin, like it's hard to do that because you'll cut off your own expansion. Yeah, especially on the Genoese side. Like I, I am one province wide, the entire distance of Italy. And I'm not. I'm apparently not going to be attacking Genoa any time in the near future. Um, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing. Florence is allied with Provence, and, and then Genoa. Milan didn't even take anything. They just stopped fighting. Hmm. I hate you, Milan. Well, it is what it is. That's adorable. They're guaranteeing the independence of the knights. That's adorable, Genoa. You're adorable. You're the cutest. Yay, tech. Thank God. Alright, so... Oh man, I can put my boats back out. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll build another one in 1463. In two years, I'll have another boat. 1463. It's so exciting to be able to figure out how boats work. I got rebels for days. Oh, do you? I yeah, Ferreira and then uh, Cremona. Luckily, um, uh, Florence has finally faded away, unrest wise. Parma yep. still hates my guts, and they're damn near 80% autonomy, so that's irritating. All right. Build some boats? Boats? I like boats. It takes me two years to build a boat. God damn it. it takes me 367 days. Well, not all of us started on the coast, Mr. Coast Boy. For some oh, Luca. yeah. Lucky Luca. So what was that uh, achievement you were talking about? The Lucky Luca? So it's Lucky like some, there's Luca. some province in India that yeah. I can't see. It's some, there's some province over in Italy, in, um, in India, and I, I don't know what the name of it is, but essentially, and we can't see India, but essentially as Luca, you have to start as Luca, 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 
and uh, get a province in India, a special province whose name I've forgotten already. And that is an achievement. So, you know, as you can imagine with, with, uh, with Lucka, that's, that's not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> so I was reading that um, one guy, the way he did it was he declared on Genoa. He took Theodoro's province over in the Black Sea. Okay. That way he could then um, core. Or no, he took um, uh, Naxos first. He took Naxos, okay. and then he took Theodoro because that put it in a core range, and then he ran down through all the um, um, what are these Shia and Sunni states, you know, Karakoinu uh, and all that, and just like invaded his way to India along that coast. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I was like, that I sounds salute like you, sir. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun, but probably more um, probably more work than I'd want to put into that achievement run because wow. Well, there's reasons that some of us don't have achievements. Yes, that'd be one of them. Some people really just love that. I mean, and to those watching who love it, good for you. I just not for you. Not not for me. Uh, I feel like I need to take an admin guy just to get um just to get closer on the tech. I need the ideas. <laughs> I need ideas. I'm all out of them. You're <laughs> not an idea guy. I'm not an idea guy. <laughs> go left. All right, I'll go left. Uh, do I have my claim on you? I do. Hmm. So if I declared on Siena who just started getting their morale up for some reason. That's interesting. If I declared on Siena, um, the Papal States would join, and you would join, and that's it. Did somebody mention a free meal? Yeah. The problem is they actually, I think, outman us a little bit. Well, Siena has seven standing, and the Papal States has, what, 13? Uh, at last check. Let me look again. I mean, Papal State has a navy, but, I mean... I, I don't think we rival them on the sea, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, they're at 13 troops with 15,000 manpower. I mean, I got plenty of cash to be able to just have mercenaries out in the field, so I'm not really that, uh, that concerned with it. Must be nice having all that money. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, when we discussed this arrangement, who was going to be hey, who, yeah, you didn't have a problem with it. So, all right, so let's pause for a second because I want to discuss this. So our okay. truth was Florence just ended. Okay. Florence is allied with uh, Provence and Genoa. Okay. Um, my only concern is I don't think my aggressive expansion has ticked down enough yet for me to take Genoa. But that might be our way into this whole Genoa thing. Genoa, though, has got 17 guys already. Holy crap. Oh, they started. They took uh, land from Aragon. They took part of uh, uh, Sardinia there. They took um, Sassari. Well, how many total troops does Genoa have standing around? Well, there's 17 standing in Genoa proper. So let me check to see if they have so more. There's, so there's 2,000 accounted for. However, he has no manpower, or very little. He's 2,300 manpower right now. But... Uh... But Florence has. 8, How much money 000. is he making? Genoa is making. Probably pretty. Twelve ninety six. Twelve ninety six. Total. He's oh, making okay. twelve ninety six. Okay. That doesn't that doesn't count any expenditure, mind you. I mean, in comparison to like you and I, which where am I? I'm making eleven oh three, for instance, and you are making six twenty eight. Yeah, rub it in. Hey, whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yo, plus, you have a claim on Genoa? Uh, I do have a claim on Genoa. So all we really need to do is kick the crap out of him in Genoa, take Genoa itself, we'll have his capital then, and also have a ticking war score in our favor at that point. So he, he'll have to ship troops in in order to deal with us. Mm -hmm. Right? So the question is, who do we hit first? Because the problem is there's only one province between their troops. So they have 25,000 troops at hand. Wait, with who else? Florence? 
Yeah, Florence has eight. Oh, right, right. Hey, I, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna unpause because the longer we talk, the more aggressive expansion um, takes away. Because that's I what I'd hate to do is is call it too early, and, right? <laughs> uh, and then I can't take this to province. So um, the other thing I could wait for is I could wait for Genoa to go to war and then claim and then hit Florence itself. Because, I mean, the Pope and Siena are actually softer targets than currently Genoa. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got Provence. that backwards. So the, the war deck would be against Florence, right? Right. Okay, so that we would be... Is that against, uh, is that against Pisa? Yes, so Pisa Arezzo is, is Florence. So I have a claim on Pisa. So they've that's the problem. There's 25,000 troops plus Provence, I think. So I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. No. Because Provence has, uh, I'm sure, a decent army. I uh, think the better... 9, so we, I think the... I think you're right. We go Siena Pope, but then we just need to keep an eye on Genoa. And if we see Genoa at war at some point, then we deck on, uh, on Florence. Yeah. Well, if, we'll, we'll try to let that situation be fluid, I think, because that will depend on manpower and all that kind of stuff. Well, it also will depend on where our aggressive expansion sits at the time. Yeah. Which is the problem with trying to go, hey, what do we want to do next? Let's go kick this guy in the teeth. Exactly. Do you have a... You do have a claim on that. Okay. On on Romana, yeah. Right. I do. I'm also actually developing one on Ar Arbino, yeah, Urbino as we speak. I was going to recommend it if you weren't. All right. <laughs> War score for days, bro. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it'll be really easy to siege all that stuff too. So it's it's thirty combined development, so I'm sure there wouldn't be a coalition against you if you took both of them. But nah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe I should put my boats to work. Mm. Uh, so bad. And maybe I should. Oh, I still have three being built. Man, you're right. Those boats take forever. <laughs> Freaking boats taking years. A little over a year per. Or if you're uh, Mantua, you know, too. Is it because your autonomy is still pretty high in... No, you're doing pretty good on Ferrara. You're down to 15%. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, I just fought two stacks of Rebels. One in Cremona and one in Ferrara. So those those counters reset already. Uh... So, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing great over here in Mantua. I'm still at 77 and 55 percent autonomy in my two takeover, so I'm not quite getting the benefit of them yet. I think once um, once I get Florence kind of ready to roll, uh, once that the autonomy ticks down on that, then my economy will improve dramatically. There's another boat. Go, go, Gadget Genoa. How am I doing in Genoa, anyway? We're at a half hour on this recording, by the way. Oh, wow. I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody. We were just relaxing, taking it all in. <laughs> Why so, is it me, you four? Yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and sign off here, and uh, we'll see you guys next episode. See ya.